Sun's up, but just barely. I am headed to get another project car. Want to guess what it is? It's probably easy to figure out since it's in the title. We are now entering Virginia horse country. So just go ahead and imagine, if you will, that uh, you know I actually had like a production crew or something, and there were uh, overhead drone shots right now and really cool music going on. And you can see horses and stuff running around. So imagine that in your head. And you're not going to see that because you know I don't have uh, don't have a giant production crew. But if I did, that's what you'd be seeing right now. I told you I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, so whenever I pick up a car, I make a video, I pick it up, and I post it. So I Here she is all loaded up just about ready to go a couple more straps 1947 Cadillac series 75 let me let me get it out of the way so you can actually see the car so this is a 1947 Cadillac series 75 they made about uh, 5030 of these I'm not sure exactly which one this is it had a few different kinds of them let's see here it looks like oh look at that <laughs> That's a nice little bonus. <laughs> so if that's actually the way this came, this is a five passenger and I think it would be very rare because it doesn't have the jump seats. Let me back up a little bit so you can, you can check the rear uh, suicide door. Kind of cool, huh? So uh, you might think that this is kind of like a limo, but it's actually a touring car. The difference being that uh, limousines would have a divider window here so this is uh what they call a touring car now not pro touring as some of you might have but uh just regular touring this is clearly not the original paint i don't think any of them came red when i was doing a little bit of research on them i don't recall seeing red as a uh, option for the paint I'm going to assume it was some sort of boring neutral color uh, although I think and we'll find out before the end of this video I think this paint might buff up pretty nice let me get this beast off the trailer and get it inside and we'll check it out some more and I'll show you the 500 cubic inch Cadillac engine it's got under the hood So in a bit of a plot twist, turns out it's a 48 uh, Series 75. The ad said 47, but the title says 48, the trim tag says 48, and so it's a 48. The 47 and the 48 are, are virtually identical. Uh, they really didn't make any change from year to year. I think from 46 to 49. So unless you look at the trim tag, you, you really won't know. I mean, there's probably some experts out there that can tell, but I'm not an expert on this car. But I will tell you, that 48 uh, series 75 is a lot more rare than a 47 uh in 47 they made about 5,000 of these in 48 they only made a little over a thousand and this being the five passenger they only made 225 of this model this is a, a 75 19x made 225 of them so i don't know how many are left but at least this one's here of course, it's not very original now, is it? They never made them in this color. In fact, uh, according to the trim tag, which is right over here, this was a uh, black car originally. Uh, let's see here, paint the one. So that is uh, black uh, 87 for the trim. 
means it's supposed to have a gray broadcloth interior. That dark gray velour is definitely not uh, broadcloth. So that's been changed as well. And of course, the paint has been changed to this, uh, I guess we'd call it salmon. Uh, I hesitate to call it pink. Uh, it's more of a salmon color to me. Or Yeah, well, it's certainly not Barbie pink. Um, I think salmon is probably the right color. I've not studied the various shades of pink, uh, so let me know in the comments what shade you think it is. You might want to wait until I hit it with a, with a buffing wheel, though. See if we can get some of this nasty bleaching off of here, and then we can really see what color this thing is. But back to it not being exactly stock. Uh, yeah, this is a, a 500 cubic inch Cadillac engine from the 70s. I'm, I'm assuming it either has a turbo 350 or a, a turbo 400 transmission. Probably a 400. The old Cadillac engine, uh, long gone from this. Uh, they've also uh, added power brakes. This has power drum brakes all the way around. It also has power steering, which is sketchy at best. Uh, something going on there. I'm going to have to figure that out because you, you go from straight to being turned all the way to the right or all the way to the left in about two turns. It is crazy how 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 fast this thing turns. I'm not, not sure what's going on there. Don't seem to see an AC compressor anywhere, which doesn't surprise me. I would have been shocked if somebody had added like vintage air or something to it. But she runs great. Uh, fires right up. Oh, made a liar out of me. Oh, there, there she goes. There she goes. That big 500 cubic inch caddy just purring like a kid. I got the door down, so I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this off. Series 75, a little bit different than the Series 60s, like 61, 62, I think, were the other models. Uh, in that, those four doors open the uh, conventional way. The 75 opens suicide style. I'm sure there's a different name for it, but I like to go with that. The interior clearly been redone at some point. Uh, they went a little crazy with the velour, but it's certainly serviceable. Uh, the carpet should clean up, I hope. We'll hit it with a Bissell carpet machine at some point and get all of that crud out of there. Looks like the door jams could probably use some work. That's cool, they put the wiper switch on the side there. It's kind of neat. They've added a hood release for it, although that's not working. I had to strap the hood down on the way home. Factory radio, if it had one, has been replaced with uh, that really nice Clarion. If only I had some tapes kicking around. Uh, I mean, I probably do. Got a clock over there. Oh. <laughs> Cigarette lighter. Um, don't know what that is. Kind of feels like a light. Got our ashtray. Well, that hides really well. Look at that. All right, well, no getting that down. I don't think this wood is original. They may have used wood on these, but I don't think this wood is. Mostly because that hits. And this hits the wood. And that doesn't really seem right. So I'm going to have to research that and see if we can figure out what has gone on here. What this interior is supposed to look like. Maybe do something about that. But really the back of the car is where you want to be. With somebody else driving you down the road. <laughs> now where is Dawn when I need her? She would make a great chauffeur. I love all the detail in this chrome. Is that a deck screw? Got our own ashtray. Our own cigarette lighter. And our own switch that who knows what that does and definitely is not stock. So on the trim tag, it tells you the body style and the model. And this is a five passenger. Now what separates this from a seven passenger is the seven passenger has two jump seats that pull down from here. Uh, this instead has this. Now, I don't know if this is stock or not, or if somebody created this, 
but it's definitely a great addition and uh <laughs> this was already here when i bought it sure some of my friends will make a dent in this don't drink and drive kids and you don't have to if you're sitting in the back and you got someone chauffeuring you around you can just drink and ride now that's the way to do it i had to put some uh, tumblers in there though maybe a ice machine coming around the back we can see some more great detail on the brake light housings and turn signal housings uh really cool stuff kind of hazard to say that maybe this one was replaced at some point this bumper also looks like maybe it was rechromed or replaced at some point as well our cadillac emblem turn that and let's see what we got yeah we got a bunch of stuff in the trunk so i guess we're gonna have to clean that out hope that's not the gas tank that it's using pretty big trunk though huh what do we have here yeah that's what i thought here's where we put the gas in pretty neat huh oh they added a third brake light how thoughtful i wonder if it works so what are the plans after a uh, initial walkthrough looks like we definitely need to get this hood straightened out i did find a place that was actually parting one of these out so hope i can get some uh, hood hinges from them i could probably take these off and try and straighten them out but if i can get a clean used pair that doesn't have any metal fatigue i'll take those instead after that i want to check the suspension out and make sure that that's uh, up to snuff i did notice when i was strapping it down one of the sway bars is missing its bushings for some reason. They're, they're on the other side, but not on one side. So we'll fix that. The previous owner said something about having hit a pothole and maybe damaging something. So we'll definitely have to look. And then, you know, I want to polish this thing up, see what color it is. In fact, we're going to do that in just a second. Helps plug it in. <laughs> probably enough for today looks pretty good oh wait let me go over to this side yeah that's better not bad i think it's coming out pretty good uh it's got plenty of dings and little rust marks and all sorts of stuff that needs attention at some point view the back tomorrow i'll tackle the other side new day new side to polish couple things I noticed yesterday when I was polishing and this side's the same you can see this really well here this is where somebody um, sanded off the rust and then just hit it with clear coat now unfortunately uh, they clear coated in where the rust was kind of staining the paint and so when I polish this you can see the rust still staining the paint down here I'll be able to polish that out but I won't be able to polish that out because it's now covered in clear coat well this looks really nice right now once I'm done polishing it this spot's gonna actually stand out and not look good just as an example right here the paint looks really nice and then right here is where they cleared over and so that paint on the other side that looks really nice right now is gonna look just like this when I'm done polishing it my heaters are still heating the place up, so let me turn those back on and get to work on this so I don't freeze to death out here. I'm being a little overdramatic. I'm not going to freeze to death. But if I do, you'll see it on my channel, so be sure to subscribe. Well, here she is, all buffed down with the Meguiar's M83. I still need to hit it with the high-tech yellow wax, uh, also from Meguiar's. That's what I usually like to do on these on these cars. That's what I did on both of those. Uh, 
But <laughs> I just recalled that uh, when I was working on the Fury, I dropped the yellow wax and it splattered all over the ground. So I need to buy some more. But that's a problem for another day. It's getting late. I need to head back to the house. Hope you all enjoyed the tour of this 48 Cadillac Series 75. It's definitely going to be some more videos on it. Got to fix that sway bar. So got to clean out the interior a little bit. Maybe hit some of that hooch. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you down the road. Okay. Right. I'm really glad you're here, Dawn. Why? Uh... Wait a minute. <sighs> Why don't you drive Wait. somewhere? <laughs> I, I did not sign up for this. This should be driving Miss Dawn, not driving Mr. Jim. Uh, <laughs> I quit. I'm getting out. <laughs> I don't even know how to get out of the car. Leaving. The camera guy. Come, come over here. Yeah. Here, let me just take the camera. Where to, boss? Anywhere the road takes us, my friend. Anywhere it takes us.